Say mummy. Say mummy. Mummy. Say daddy. 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 Who remembers their first word? I do. Oh yeah. It wasn't mama. It wasn't dada. My first word was... Pocket. I didn't know what a pocket was, mine. I just liked the sound of it. my boy! So now I knew what a pocket was and my parents spoiled me. Baby say pocket! Baby get pocket and boy did I get them. I had them everywhere. On the walls, on the doors, on the floors, in my bed. Everything was great! Pocket. Well, until one day... Oh. Stop it. Stop it! But if you don't stop that, I'm gonna... I was stitched up! What else was I gonna do with me hands? Suck my thumb? That was not an option. But that... Well... From then on, I never stood a chance. I was hooked. I was still in my own pockets. But other people's... Well... <laughs> By the time I was 13, I was a bona fide, 24-hour, full-time pocket natter. Apart from that, though, I was just like all the other kids. You know, I played football, rode a bike, I even had a girlfriend. For a while. The older I got, the harder it got. People just didn't want me in their pockets. I tried everything. Excuse me, can I put my hand in your pocket, please? I asked. What? Please! Could I put my hand in your pocket? Offered money. Please, pretty please, please. Why would you want to put your hand in my pocket? Begged. Come on, it's the pocket. It's just, you've got really nice pockets. I even bullied. Yeah. Yeah. I paid the price. Cheap, <laughs> Some days I was lucky, but most days, well, I spent the next 10 years getting slapped. Until one day, I was just walking down the street, you know, minding my own business, when staring in front of me was the answer to my prayers, a solution to the slapping. Of course, pickpocketing, they put their hands in people's pockets all the time, and they don't get slapped. Pocketing was theft though, so I comes up with this plan. I wouldn't take, I'd give. I wouldn't pick, I'd put. It was brilliant. Weird, but brilliant. I was the happiest man alive. I was happy, and they was happy. Oh, oh. In the end, though, I suppose it was too good to be true. No, 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 because what happened was, right?
It was a bloke at the bus stop, and, I, and his wallet fell. Because I put it back. And because I don't pick. All right. And because of holes, it must be in a hole. I don't pick. I don't, I don't, because I, 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 I put. And I put it back again because it fell twice. I like her. I like her. I like her pockets. In the end, I was lucky not to get sent down. Oh. My old dears, yeah. though, they'd had enough. Yeah. I think I took it pretty well. OK, I didn't take it very well. I was gutted, stitched up, a victim of injustice, guilty of a crime I did not commit. It was payback time. Oh, yeah, I'd show them. It was around this time I went completely mad. Mad, mad, completely mad. <laughs> The way I saw it, from the planet mad, was that if I couldn't go in your pockets, then you couldn't go in your pockets. <coughs> Revenge was mine. Hail the pocket terrorist. I was invincible. No one could stop me. I was unstoppable. I was so unstoppable, no one could stop me. Please release picture. <laughs> it's 30p, please, mate. So there you have it. My tale is told. Cool. In me own trap. One little word. That's all it took. Oh well. I must have grumbled. Scrooge seemed to like me. You see, it was him who got me the job down the laundry. And you know what he got down the laundry? Oh. Pockets. <laughs>